what do you know about bushmeat? Now join me as I share with you what you probably didn't know. Thanks for joining. If this is your first time, you are welcome. My name is Louisa and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. So in this video, I'm going to talk about bushmeat consumption, trade and regulations in Ghana. Bushmeat is a catch-all name for meat from wild animals or wildlife. And it is also referred to as game. Now let me talk first about bushmeat consumption. Bushmeat is a valuable source of protein to millions of people across the developing world. It is said to contribute about 40 to 60 percent of protein to the diet of households in rural Africa. Some people consume bush meat because it is lean meat. In Ghana, species of wild animals consumed as bush meat include bushback, known in the Akan language as Wansane, Maxwell Diker, known in the Akan language as Otri, Royal Antelope known in the Akan language as Adowa, grass cutter, also known in the local language as Akrantia. There's cane rat, brush-tailed porcupine, and striped ground squirrel. Bush meat is consumed by both rural and urban dwellers. It is important to note that the species of bush meat consumed in one community may be tabooed in another. Also, Bush meat species consumed in the southern part of Ghana may be different from what is consumed in the northern sector. And this is mainly because of what is available to them in their locality. In a study conducted in the southern part of Ghana, they found that the most preferred bush meat species is the grass cutter. Another study found that Bush meat consumption has fallen substantially in some rural communities. An explanation given was that, firstly, because there is a reduction in wildlife availability, and secondly, because fresh meat is sold directly to urban consumers or eateries at higher prices than most rural communities or households can afford. Now let's move on to trade of bushmeat. The bushmeat trade has a long history in Ghana. It serves as cash income to the actors in the commodity chain. It is estimated that the bushmeat industry in Ghana generates about 870 million CDs in revenue every year. But the government does not benefit enough as traders evade payment of taxes. There are five main groups in the bushmeat commodity chain. These are farm hunters, commercial hunters, wholesalers, market traders, and chop bar operators. Bushmeat is primarily traded from commercial hunters via wholesalers. Commercial hunters are full-time hunters who depend on the trade as their primary source of income, while farmer hunters are part-time hunters who hunt to supplement their income from agricultural produce due to the seasonal nature of agricultural activities. Hunting methods include shooting, trapping, poisoning. The wholesalers purchase and sell in bulk, and the retailers consist of market traders and chop bar operators. In addition to the five primary actors or groups, a safe type of actor is the animal husbander. They purchase living animals from hunters and keep them in captivity before selling to the public. Next, I'll talk about regulations regarding bushmeat. Legislative framework for wildlife in Ghana include the Wildlife Animal Reservation Act 43 of 1961, Wildlife Reserve Regulation of 1971, that is LI 710, Wildlife Conservation Regulation of 1971, LI 685. The major issues outlined in these regulations include restrictions on hunting and offenses, 
issuance of game licenses, export permit for game and trophies, other general issues. The regulation has since been further amended by LI 1284 of 1983, LI 1357 of 1988, and LI 1452 of 1989. Under the restrictions on hunting, certain animals are designated as wholly protected for which they are hunting, capture, or destruction at any time are prohibited also prohibited is the hunting at any time of animal or adult accompanied by young hunters are required to obtain a hunting license for specific species while a permit is also needed to export animals out of the country as part of the restrictions on hunting an annual close season covering a period of 1st August to 1st December of every year is imposed for which no person is allowed during the period to hunt, capture or destroy any wild animal except certain species. The purpose of the annual close season is to protect animals and those that are nursing their young during the period. The four-month period is to enable most of the pregnant and lactating mothers, especially the large animals, wean their young before 1st December of every year. This is to ensure that the offspring of such animals will be capable of escaping from all possible threats to their survival. The use of traps by hunters is illegal. However, some researchers have reported trap hunting by hunters. On 20 of July 2020, a new law, that is the Meat Inspection Regulation, came into force. Meat referred to in this regulation include bushmeat. The regulation included bushmeat because an earlier research had shown that most game were poisoned. The research found that about 65 to 75 percent of bush meat were poisoned. The hunters poisoned the animals before they used sticks to hit them to give the carcasses some semblance of being hunted. Finally, I'll talk about some conservation, livelihood, and health concerns. Hunting for bush meat is considered one of the most immediate threats to African wildlife. Conservationists are concerned about the unsustainable large-scale exploitation hunting, particularly slower breeding species or vulnerable species with low reproductive rates. Now, if action is not taken, such species could become locally extinct because they are not able to cope with heavy exploitation. Enforcement of the regulation on trap hunting could increase the vulnerability of farmers to crop losses and could negatively affect their livelihoods. Similarly, the close season to hunting also negatively impacts the livelihoods of traders. Wild animals are known to be reservoirs for pathogens and people who come in contact with their bodily fluids risk becoming infected with a zoonotic disease. Hampton allow for high levels of direct contact of bodily fluids. The unsanitary conditions, detection of trace metals, and poison in these meats also raises serious health concerns. Be sure that you are not contributing to the local extinction of wild animals. Also, to authenticate that the meat you buy is wholesome and fit for consumption make sure you ask the trader for a permit from a veterinary inspector share with me in the comment section what you know about this topic and don't forget to like this video share and subscribe for more content